Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover an introduction to the order of operations. Now, the order of operations are a set of rules or steps that we need to follow in order to solve problems with multiple operations and steps correctly. You can think of the order of operations as a set of instructions that we need to follow in order to get to the correct answer. So we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. But before we start those examples, I want to go through our steps. So let's take a look at the letters on the left side of the screen. So P, E, M, D, A, S often referred to as PEMDAS. So that's an acronym we can use to remember these letters or steps. And we'll start up top with the P, which stands for parentheses. So parentheses are level or priority number one. Whenever we see parentheses, that's what we need to complete first. Then we have E for exponents. So that's level or priority number two. Then we move to level or priority number three, which is multiplication and division. Now multiplication and division are both level or priority three. So that arrow in between the M and the D is very important. We'll talk about that more as we go through our examples. And then lastly, we have level or priority number four, which is addition and subtraction. Again, addition and subtraction those are on the same level. Just like multiplication and division are both level three, addition and subtraction are both level four, and they have an arrow in between the A and the S, just like the M and the D. Um, so we will talk more about that as we go through our examples. So let's jump into number one, and we can go through how to think through these types of problems. So we'll start with our set of instructions, those letters to the left, and we start with parentheses, level or priority number one. So do we have any parentheses in number one? No. So let's go to the next step. Exponents. Do we have any exponents? No. So let's go to the next step. Multiplication and division. Level three. Do we have any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's where we start. So let's do three times six. So I like to call this the caret method. I'm marking exactly which numbers I am using. That way I can organize myself and work my way down to my final answer. So three times six is 18. I need to bring down everything I did not use because I am not done yet. I did not use my addition sign and I did not use the eight. So bring that down and now we only have addition, so that's the only thing we can do, and that's where we end this problem. So 8 plus 18 equals 26, and that is our final answer. Let's move on to number 2, where we have 18 divided by parentheses 11 minus 5, end parentheses. So let's go through our list. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, so that's where we need to start. We have to do parentheses first. So 11 minus 5 is 6. Bring down everything we didn't use. We did not use the division sign, and we did not use the 18. So now we're left with only division. So that's what we need to do next. So 18 divided by 6 is 3, and that's our final answer. On to number three, where we have seven times four minus parentheses, 13 plus eight, and parentheses. So let's go through our steps. Do we have any parentheses, level number one? Yes, so that's where we start. So 13 plus eight is 21. Bring down everything we did not use. So the subtraction, the four, the multiplication, and the seven. So we have multiplication and subtraction. Any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we need to do next. So 7 times 4 is 28. Bring down our subtraction and the 21. So we end with 
28 minus 21. Subtraction is the only thing left, so that's what we need to do to wrap up this problem. 28 minus 21 is 7, and that's our final answer. Lastly, number 4, we have 4 squared, or 4 to the power of 2, minus 6, plus 23. So let's go through our steps. Any parentheses? No. Any exponents? Yes, we have 4 to the power of 2, or 4 squared. And if you're not familiar with exponents, what this means, this means 4 times 4. We took 4 and we expanded it out twice. So it does not mean 4 times 2. It means 4 times 4, which gives us 16. So we'll put our 16 and then bring down everything we did not use. So the subtraction, the 6, the addition, and the 23. Now, this is very important, this next step. So as we go through our thinking, any parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication or division? No. Addition or subtraction? Yes, we have both addition and subtraction left. So this arrow right here is very important for understanding how we go about solving this. Now again, addition and subtraction are both level four. They are the same level or same priority. So that arrow means we need to go left to right if we have both of them. So we actually do subtraction first here. Addition is not more important or a priority above subtraction. Again, both level four, so go left to right. So 16 minus six is 10 bring down what we did not use, so the plus 23. So we end with 10 plus 23, which is 33. So again, that arrow came into play because we had both addition and subtraction, which are both level four, so we go left to right. Now that can happen with multiplication and division as well. So if you have multiplication and division, in the same problem, you need to go left to right because they are both level or priority number three. So there you have it. There's an intro to the order of operations. Now I do have a follow-up video with more examples. I'll drop that link down in the description. And I also have more videos on the order of operations and different types of situations that you may come across. I'll drop those links down in the description as well. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.